Serious 2 in WWE 2K23, my faction. So first, uh, we got the new promo packs. So we got, let's go to the bodega real quick. The new Superstars Series 2 packs. Uh, before we go over those cards, we'll go real quick into the live events. Just got home from work, so I want to see what's going on. We read that, 400k, my faction points, we didn't do that. Here we get Greg Miller, Amethyst Manager. So now he's available to get. Uh, you're going to have to use one, this is awesome card. It's the requirement. So, And it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one match. Over here we get 550 my faction points. And you gotta use a bronze card. Here we're reading this one. It's uh, two rubies that are technicians. So that's it. So I think only the manager dropped today. And then upcoming, I believe we have some new stuff coming up. Uh, this Roman Reigns was there already. You have to use Gold J Uso from the Danger Zone packs. This is new. So you get this Roman Reigns from the Super Card Myth. You need to use this card to do the challenge to get this Amethyst Ricochet. Now, 2K released a uh, locker code today to get this card. See, now this is what I'm talking about. Was this so hard, 2K? Was this so hard? You gave us a locker code for a card, and we have to use that card for a live event to get an Amethyst card. This is what the gamers want, right? We don't want to have to open packs to pull one particular card to complete, to even do the challenge. And then you're going to do a one-on-one -on -one match with Amethyst, Braun Strowman, who it says 99, which is 99 is a dark matter, but it says our Amethyst on the card, so I don't understand how that's working, but nonetheless, loving the card art, loving the lock code that's going to give us this card. In a second, I'm going to tell you the lock code, we'll put it in, and we'll see what we're going to get from those packs, from that pack. So down here, you still have to get these four wrestlers to get uh, complete for the Amethyst Solo Sokoa match. Um, basically, you got to get the Yokozuna, Umaga, Rikishi, and the Roman Reigns. You have to get all these cards from live events. And the problem with these cards is you have to get a particular card in order to even compete in the challenge. Here we got this Eddie Guerrero still coming up soon. 750 uh, my faction points. Use a ruby. Uh, here you get a Knight of Champions pack. I believe that's new up and coming. Uh, you got to use an Emerald Powerhouse. It's going to be a battle royal over the top. And over here you need this Sapphire Indie Hartwell. And this is from Knight of Champions. I'm not sure. I think I have the card. I got to go check. I don't know if I have this card. And it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one match against Carmella, looks like. And you get this Amethyst Mia Yim. So, Mia Yim has been a good card this year, so this Amethyst card is probably going to be really decent. Uh, we'll take a quick look at, um, check out the rewards. So, we'll go to rewards. Let's go to live events. So, yeah, so this Solo Sokoa, you already know he's going to be great. Still not going to be heavy-handed on the gold tier. Um, check out Mia Yim. Then like a B heavy handed on tier three, rage liberty on tier three, and second win on tier one. Yeah, this is gonna be a good card. This Mia Yim is gonna be the best Mia Yim in the game. She's definitely gonna make definitely gonna make my squad. She's gonna be really good. I love her player model too. Uh this am this amethyst Kevin Owens, uh the last proving grounds for Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, I used this card for the male matches and he helped me breeze through those matches. The only ones that were hard with that were the handicap matches. The handicap matches were annoying, but all the other matches I breathed through them with Kevin Owens. Uh, let me see what else we got. This Ricochet, let's check them out. All right, we got, we're going to use the Locker Coke Roman Reigns card we get today from, from the Myth to compete in this challenge to get this Amethyst Ricochet. Uh, he doesn't have Sting Like a Bee. The only thing I look for on a card is Sting Like a Bee. I don't care if they have Space Invader, they don't. But if a card does not have Sting Like a Bee, it's going to take forever to get your special and your finishers up, build those meters. And if you get reversed, you got to build the meter from the beginning. It's just so annoying. So for me, the, my preference is a card has to have Sting Like a B, preferably on Tier 3 or 4. But even if they have Sting Like a B on Tier 2, it still works. It implements Sting Like a B, and you can still build your special meter quicker. 
So even staying like a B on tier two is is decent. At least if a card has staying like a B, they'll be able to build your special meter faster so you can get your finisher faster. And if you do get reversed and you have to rebuild the meters, you can go back and build the meters faster. You don't want a card that doesn't have stand like a B and you sitting there striking and doing moves all day and then you get reversed and you got to start from scratch. It's going to prolong your matches. So that's why stand like a B is the most important badge in this game. Last year, Space Invader was the most important badge in the game because you could finish matches in 30 seconds. Any badge that's going to help you finish a match quicker is the badge that you want. It's the point of the badge. Everything else is just icing on the cake. Okay, so stand like a B is the number one priority. If a card doesn't have stand like a B, I'm not gonna use that card. I might use it just to try it out, but I don't care what I don't care what the, the attributes are saying. Like it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It does, trust me, it does not matter. It doesn't matter if it's a diamond, a pink diamond. If the card does not have stand like a B, it's not gonna be good. Point blank, period. You cannot argue with me. I I tried diamond and pink. Di I tried diamond cards and amethyst cards that do not have stand like a B, and they absolutely suck. Okay, you sit there doing moves and strikes and all types of stuff all day. And what happens when you strike the computer, the CPU a bunch of times? They're going to reverse you a bunch of times. And then if you get your meter up and you go for a special or finish and they reverse you, you got to start from scratch. And now you're striking and trying to build your meter up quickly and they're reversing those strikes and it's just annoying. So stay like a B is the most important badge in the game. If a card doesn't have stand like a B, forget about it. You could use it if you want. You're going to be wasting your time. I'm not going to waste my time. I learned my lesson, and I know what it is. So that being said, uh, let's go put in this locker code. Let's see, locker code. I believe it's Supercard 2K23, if I'm not mistaken. So Supercard 2K23. Got it? All right, let's get it. And there it is. And I love the card art. Creatures of Legendary Myth. Uh, so this is a collab with Supercard and WWE 2K23, my faction. I like what they did here. They gave you a free locker code. Great card art. They're promoting Supercard, I get it. But at the same time, they're giving us something for free. So you know what? We will take it. So it should be in our free packs, uh, unopened packs. So you go to your unopened packs, and there it is, right? So let's see what we get from this pack. Boom. Hold on. Yeah, local fire department. Yeah, I have a problem. I got two cars that are on fire. It's like a whole inferno flaming up. I need you to come and put this out. Thank you, and you're welcome. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to make that call. I don't want my house to burn down. So we get a Omas Sapphire. I love this card art. Yes, let's go. This is what I'm talking about. We want to see different card arts instead of generic borders. Here we get a Commander Sapphire. And we get a Charlotte Flair Sapphire. Wow. So let's see the first Ruby. Caden Carter. Okay. We'll take that. I like where we're going with this. And then this should be Roman Reigns. Let's go. Yes, this is the card art we, we've been looking for. And we get a free from a locker code. So 2K took a W this weekend. I'm going to give him credit where credit is due. WWE 2K23 and NBA 2K23. Because they have the Invincible Option Pack where you'll get Kobe Bryant. But we're not talking about that right now. You don't have to open up so many packs to get the card guaranteed. So let's go check out. How would I check out those cards? So it'll be in my rewards. I believe locker codes, right? There they go. Okay. So let's check out Roman. I'm not going to go through his attributes. Like you could pause it if you want. But you're basically like 71 finisher, 74 special. So you see, he doesn't have stand like a B. It's going to be a problem. They could have gave him thing like it could be on tier 2, tier 3, didn't matter. Tier 4, even better. They didn't. But nonetheless, it's a free Roman Reigns Ruby card. Uh, you don't believe what I said earlier? Play with this card. And then you tell me. Uh, let's check out Caden Carter. She has Merciless. Merciless Opportunity is a decent badge. And so is Rage, but she doesn't have a stand like it be. 
Do any of them have something I could be? Pain, pain, slippery heel. Okay. So you see this Omos, he has stand like a bee, heavy handed on tier three. This is gonna be a great card. Great card right here. Just strike your opponent, stun them when you stun them because you have heavy handed, you stun them even more. You build your special meter faster, you get to your finisher faster, do your special, do your finisher, rinse and repeat, and you win the matches. Okay? Because you know to win a match, you have to hit them with at least two to three finishes to win the match. And two to three specials and two to three finishes to win the match. We know this. If you play this game, then you know. He doesn't have stain like a bee, but he does have heavy hands. So, I, like, I don't know. Stain like a bee is still that bad. So, out of this set, that they, this this card pack that they just gave us, this is the best card. So, they did give us what? Like, this card right here, you could use this card. Even though he's a sapphire. Don't believe the sapphire, ruby, amethyst, diamond. That don't mean nothing. What you're seeing right before your eyes. The badges is what means everything. I'm going to tell you. I still play with Sapphire cards, and I have diamonds. I have Diamond Rare Ripley, and I play with her Sapphire. Who's better? Like, come on. Like, trust me. I proved it. If you watch my videos, I proved it right before your eyes. Okay? I have Diamond Rare Ripley, and I still use the Sapphire from the WrestleMania packs because she has thin like a bee and heavy hand. Okay. That being said, so that was the live events, and we went through the locker code. Okay, so now... Let's go to what you really tuned in for, pack opening. So, I have purchased the pack already, so they should be in my open packs. I bought the 21 box. Now, it only says 20 here, so hopefully they gave me the... I believe there was a manager. Let me check real quick. Yeah, so you bonus one diamond Paul Heyman manager card. So I don't know if that's going to pop up as soon as I open the first pack. But let's check the odds. So for the basics, you have a 3% to pull an amethyst. 3%. For the deluxes, you have an 11% chance to pull an amethyst. So who are the amethysts? You get Cody Rhodes. This is a third Cody Rhodes amethyst card. You get Brock Lesnar, Gunther, Rhea Ripley. Seth freaking Rollins, his wife Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair. Love this card right here. Love this card art. Beautiful. I want this card. Out of all the cards in the set, this is the number one card I want. Space Invader, Stain Like a Bee. Even though Stain Like a Bee on tier two, she still has it. So I definitely want that card. Sami Zayn, Stain Like a Bee on tier three. Pain Train, Termination on tier four. This is going to be a good card, Sami Zayn. Let's check out Cody real quick. Stay like a B, tier 3. That's all I got to see. Once I see stay like a B, tier 3, tier 4, even on tier 2. If I see it on tier 2, I look at the other badges, and then I'll make a, a, a fair comparison. But once I see stay like a B on tier 3 and tier 4, I'm good. That's it. I know the card is good. That's it. I don't care what else the card has. Brock Lesnar, stay like a B, tier 4, the highest tier. Space Invader on tier 3. And he also has heavy handed on tier 2. So this Brock Lesnar is going to be a great card. Gunther. Stand Like a Bee, Tier 3, Merciless Opportunist, Tier 3, Pain Train, tier, uh, I mean, Stand Like a Bee and Merciless Opportunity on Tier 4, Pain Train on Tier 3. It's going to be a great card. Rhea Ripley, I got her Diamond, I got her Rubies, two Rubies, and I got her Sapphire. This one, Stand Like a Bee, she has it only on Tier 2, so now I go look at the other badges. Heavy Handed, so Heavy Handed and Stand Like a Bee go together. So, she only has Stan Like a B on Tier 2, but because she has Heavy Handed on Tier 4, the highest tier, I'll take this thing Like a B with that Heavy Handed. So, she's going to be a good card. And then she has Pain Train, Slippery Heel, and all that other stuff. That's great. But she still has like, Stan Like a B on Tier 2. We'll take it. Seth freaking Rollins. Right? I'm not, I'm not going to go through attributes. You can look. You know, you guys have the menu in your, in your game. You could go through it yourself. We're not going to waste all that time because attributes do not really matter in this game. I got cards with 50 kick out, 30, 30 something points of, of, of kicking out of a pin, and they kick out of pins all day. So, but it's these badges. So, he has thin like a beat, tier three. That's all I got to see. Great card. His wife, Becky Lynch. It's thin like a beat, tier three. Space Evader, tier three. Slippery Hill, tier four. She's going to be a good card. There's going to probably be one of the best Becky Lynch's in the game. Charlotte Flair, we just looked at her. She does have something like a B on tier two. Sami Zayn, we looked at him. Now, this is a, we just had another Ruby in the last promo of um, Bobby Lashley. Well, I believe it's a promo before. Like we, we, this is the second Ruby Bobby Lashley. Maybe even the third. I don't even. I, I'm losing track. We're getting the same wrestlers with the same tier 
and maybe slightly difference in badges. But he has still like a B on tier three. That's all I gotta see. So this is Bobby Lashley gonna be good. Yeah, is his other Ruby better? Probably because he probably has heavy handed to go with it. If I do remember, so he has heavy handed still like a B. So that goes together. So we got Edge, right? Everybody loves Edge. He has still like a B. He's still on tier two, but he still has it. At least he has it. You understand what I'm saying? That's all he needs to have it, and it activates. And once it activates, it's gonna help you build your special and your and your and your, and your finishers. Jay Uso don't have stand like a B. I don't need to see any other other badges. I don't care what the, what the other badges. Are. I don't care what the attributes are. When you're looking at a card, just look at the badges, and then you could go back always and look at the attributes, right? You can always check that and see. You know, he has an 84 finisher. That's great. That's awesome. Matt Riddle, right? We all love Matt Riddle. His card's always good. Look at that. Still like a B heavy handed on tier three. This card's gonna be lit. And here, going in hot. So you start the match with some special. And he has born to fly. You end up be small when you climb up when you climb up the top rope or the ladder, whatever the case is. So there's Matt Riddle, and he's an Evo card. So I just realized we have Evo cards in here. So he he Evo's into an Amethyst. So this this Matt Riddle is definitely gonna be one you want to get. Trust me. Hold on. Did I miss anybody else being an Evo? Mm, I don't see. So you gotta you gotta look at what you're doing sometimes because I, I barely I almost missed that. So anyway, we'll keep going. We'll see if we see any other evos. So Randy Orton doesn't have stand like a B. Next, I'm not even wasting my time. Ricochet don't have stand like a B. We just we can now go get his amethyst right because we got the locker code for that method Roman Reigns. Not gonna waste some time. Okay, Ronda Rousey stand like a B on tier two. Space invader tier four. She has heavy handed to go with her on tier three. She's a good card, but there's a better Ruby. Ronda Rousey that has higher badges of staying like a B and heavy hand. Space Invader, that card has the highest badge, and I believe the other card might too. You know what I'm saying? So here, uh face paint Oscar, right? Oscar with her face painted. We just got the promo from Fate Paint Frenzy. She has staying like a B tier three, Space Invader tier two, and then she has other badges. But we're just looking at like this thing like a B and Space Invader and heavy hand, and that's what we're looking for. Now, she probably has the same player model. As the other Oscar, she's probably a little bit of a watered down version. But if you didn't get the other Oscar, maybe you could pull this Oscar. You understand what I'm saying? So it gives you another chance. It's good and it's bad because it's like you're recycling the cards, but you're giving the gamers another chance to get the card, the the wrestler, you know, their favorite wrestler with a certain look or certain badges. So here you got Finn Balor. Does not have something like a B. I'm just gonna go right to the next. I'm not even looking at it. Still like a B, you got Kevin Owens, but from the Amethyst Kevin Owens, I believe he has tier three still like a B, so he's going to be a better card. But nonetheless, there's not going to be a bad Kevin Owens card because he has still like a B heavy handed on tier two. So he's still going to be a decent card, like a little bit of a watered down version from the Amethyst, but that's what it is. Here we get Raquel Rodriguez. Okay, she's an Evo card. She evolves. She's an evolution card. She becomes an Amethyst, right? So how do you make her into Amethyst? From a ruby to an amethyst, you gotta go, and we'll go there and we'll take a quick glance at that, and I'll show you how you do that. But then, nonetheless, she has to stand like a B on tier four, the highest tier with heavy handed tier three to go with it and go on it high. So this worker, and then if she evolves into an amethyst, I'm sure some of those badges upgrade. So this Raquel Rodriguez is gonna be absolutely lit once she's evolved. But we're gonna have to check once you evolve her. How much better she's gonna be? We'll check that in a second. We got Rey Mysterio. So you get the point. Like our third Ruby Sheamus, then like a B tier four, the highest tier. I don't have to see more. I know that card. I could use that card if I want. Jimmy doesn't have stand like a B. Solo Sokoa. Boom! Look at that. Stand like a B, heavy handed on tier three. Now you have the Amethyst Solo Sokoa card coming out, right? A lot of people can't qualify for the challenge because they don't have certain cards if you want a good solo sokoa card this card is going to be just as good may not be better but it's going to be just as good trust me if you're if you love solo sokoa and you want a good solo sokoa card he has great striking animations he has great animations in this game so you do want this card you get this card you don't have to stress that you didn't get the amethyst because there's not going to be much of a difference. Really not. Like in attributes, it might be two or three points here or there. But at the end of the day, it's not going to be a super duper difference. You still have a great solo Sokoa card to play with. So that, that's a W by them putting 
him in this pack and blessing him with these badges, okay? Now we have Ruby and AJ Styles. I think I have two Ruby AJ Styles. He has still like a beat. Space Invader only on tier two, but you know what? He still got it. He still got it. Like I said, even if he has it on tier two, it's still going to work. I just want it to work. It won't work as effective as the higher tiers, but it'll work. And then she don't have stand like a B, Bailey. Okay, and then you got the M, you got the Sapphires. I'm not gonna go. You guys can go through, but he look, he has stand like a B on tier three. So even this Sapphire Brown Breaker is gonna be good. Like don't sleep on these Sapphire cards. Look at stand like a B on tier. Why they Sapphire card has stand like a B on tier three, and there's diamond cards that don't even have stand like a B on tier one. That is mind boggling to me. But this is what you want to look for. So even though it's a Sapphire card, you use this card, you're still gonna be effective. You're still gonna win matches just as quickly because you have these badges you need these badges. you need thing like a B. you need it i can't stress it enough it's the most important badge in the game and then we could go on and on but you guys could really like i'm just going to take a quick look at all these cards i'm not going to go look look at her she has still like a be heavy handed on tier three trish stratus this card's going to be awesome i'll tell you right now she's going to be awesome still like a B. okay she's going to be good because she has still like a B on he heavy handed and See, I still like a B and heavy handed together on tier three. That's going to be you. When you see those two badges together on high tiers, tier three or tier four, even on tier two, that's going to be a good card because those two cards, those two badges go together. They help each other and it makes your striking overpowered. Chad Gable, you know, the Ruby one, the one from the token Ruby market, which is just like couple of tokens like it's probably the best chat gable because he has like this thing like a be on tier four and I just keep going on and on. In the Harwell um this thing like a be on tier three she's gonna be good. Carry on cross he has heavy handed space a bit but he don't have stand like a B. That's gonna be a problem. Okay we just got that new Omar Sapphire. Now look at this one stand like a B on tier four and heavy handed on tier three. So this is gonna be another great sapphire Oh, Moss card. But, uh, Carmella. Stand like a B tier 2. At least she got it. At least she got it. I'm telling you, some of these diamond and pink diamond cards do not have stand like a B. Dakota Kai. Stand like a B tier 3. You, you get the point. This I'm, I could be here all day doing this. I don't want to waste your time. Okay? You could go look for yourself. Just look for that stand like a B. Let me see something. Where is the... Where you could evolve the card. I'm drawing a blank right now because I know it's here somewhere. Is it in the challenges? Oh, I'm bugging. Hold on one second. Bear with me. Right here. Evolution cards. So go to evolution cards. Oh, then I, I think I have to pull the card. Let me go into the pack market real quick. Let's take a look at that riddle. Does it show you where he upgrades to? Do you have to pull the card? I believe you have to pull the card to, to see where you, what they get involved. Yeah, because it's just giving me these three. So maybe you have to pull the card and then you can see what it involves. So there's another way. Let me know in the comments. I, I'm just not going to try to figure it out now. I'll waste your time. Uh, let's go back in. So, yeah, so we went through all that. I know it was a lot. But I want you to watch this channel. I want you to learn. So, that being said, let's go do what you came to watch. The pack opening. First pack. Did they give me the diamond? Paul Heyman? And I didn't realize it. Anyway, the ball. Okay. So, we got Shanky. Bronze. And we got... Champa Silva, okay. I'm gonna say no because I wanna see something. Oh, is this? Okay, here he is. So, Diamond Paul Heyman, right? He's a diamond manager. He gives you plus 10, so plus 10 finisher, technical submission offense, defense plus 10. Power submission defense. So he's giving you submission defense, which you would have offense. So even though he gives you plus tens on these categories, um, he's not gonna manage my team. If he had technical submission offense or striking 
reversals, grapple reversals, grapple, plus 10, stuff like that, I would use him. But he gives you plus 10. He's a diamond, but he's not contributing to the attributes that I need my wrestlers to have, that I like my wrestlers to have. So everyone's different. But he does give you plus 10 finisher and plus 10 special. So think about that. If a car has a 90 special finisher, you go get him up to 100. You understand? So, yeah, he's going to be good. So we add him to the Let me go back right here. I just want to see where we stand. So we are nine cards. Nine cards away from Diamond Roman Reigns. I told you on this channel, you're going to get the most exclusive content. In WWE 2K23, my faction. Nobody's bringing you this, these cards. So in this pack opening, there's no reason that we shouldn't pull this Diamond Roman Reigns. Because not only superstars count towards the collection rewards. Managers count and cosmetics. So nameplates, logos, wallpapers, all that that I didn't have. If I get it and it goes into my collection, it counts. So I just need nine cards that I don't have. To get this diamond roman reigns so on this pack opening we should obtain this diamond roman reigns unless we get all duplicates on every pack we open but we did 20 so let's continue the pack open. we got 19 packs left let's go and also can we get a hammer this is a lot going on here bear with me let's go flip all okay so we get the code of kai next pack come on Boom, let's go, Amethyst. I already called the fire department, so they're on their way. I'm not gonna call them again. They're gonna think I'm crazy. Give me Charlotte Flair, give me Charlotte Flair. Oh, real Ripley, okay. We'll take it, we'll take it. We got Amethyst real Ripley. We got her diamond, but we'll take her diamond. Because her diamond does not have still like a So yeah, her diamond sucks, sorry. Next pack, the ball. We got our fifth Montez 4 Sapphire card. There's so many Sapphire Montez 4 cards. I don't even know which one's the best at this point. I'm just gonna have to look them up. Boom! Another Amethyst. That's two. Let's go. With 130 cards being in this set, I'll take any Amethyst pull we could get. Come on. Let's get Charlotte Flair. Sami Zayn. But this is a good card. This is the best Sami Zayn card there is. Feeling a little oozy right now. Oosty right now. Come on. Let's get that Charlotte Flair. Next pack. We get no flame. Flip ball. Okay, we get Oscar and we get Chad Gable. Next pack. Come on. Flip ball. Okay, so we get two cards. And we just got Diamond Roman Reigns. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Flip ball. So we got a sapphire card. Yeah, so there's 130 cards in this set. There's so many cards. Flip ball. I like when we get packs where we get two superstars, especially when there's 130 cards in the set. So I hope us complete that collection. Also, we didn't check the collector rewards, but we'll go check that in a second as soon as I'm done with this pack open. We'll see where we stand. And then we'll make a decision of what we're going to continue to open. Next pack. Come on. Slow it down a little bit. Get okay, Ruby, Finn, Balor. Nine packs left. Come on. No flames. No flames. Okay, we get Omos. We know that card is good. And we get GG Donut. Okay. Getting cards we don't have, we'll take it. Good because they're better. Boom! Another sapphire. Come on. Make it started. Make it started. And here we get Shinsuke Nakamura. Sapphire. Come on. Oh! We get Gunther. We'll take him. We'll take him. Gunther's a great card. One of the better cards we could pull. Gunther, Brock Lesnar, they all count. But we just really want one card from this whole promo. That's Charlotte Flair. The ball. We get Sapphire, Alexa Bliss. That was a cool wallpaper for Triple H. 
the ball. See, this is what I don't like. Packs with all the duplicates. Like, come on, 130 cards. You can't, you can't sprinkle in like non-duplicates for the first 20 packs. Like, come on. Now look at this. Now we're just gonna get all duplicates. Four packs remaining. Four packs. No flames. Flip all. Flip all. Then we get a butch. Two packs remain. Okay, I'll slow it down a bit. Come on. Cold Santos Escobar. Last pack. Can we clutch it up? Can we get Charlotte? Nope. The ball. Get a top dollar. Wow. That was rough. I mean, go side play now. So let's go see where we stand. So we go to collection rewards, premium, superstar. So we only got 20, we opened the 20 box. And we only got 23 cards that we need from the 130. Now, not upset there's 130 cards in this set, right? Because Lord knows how many 20 boxes I have to open. Even though the, it's a little cheaper than the other promos. A little cheaper, not by much. But here's the problem. Let's say they say, hey, uh, we got a live event coming up and you know you need this uh, Emerald Roxanne Perez. Right? So they're gonna do a live event and you need this particular card from this particular promo to complete that live event challenge. So even like qualify for it. It's gonna be a problem if 2K decides to pick one of these cards. Because look how many cards, like you could just go down all day. Like I literally pulled hardly anything. You know, you understand what I mean? I pulled amethyst, I'm grateful. Don't get it twisted. I got three amethysts. I'm grateful. You understand? But, but like these these sapphires and emeralds and golds, like man, if they pick one of these cards, man, if they they pick this Shotzi, which I love this card art. Look at this card art. That's what I'm talking about. Put that on her amethyst. They say, hey, you need this gold shot to complete this live challenge to get some amethyst, you know, Bianca Belair or something. Yeah, it's going to be a problem because you're not, you know, you're going to have to spend a lot of money. If, if people are struggling now to get the cards for live events in a promo that only has 20 cards, 30 cards max, imagine a promo that has 130. So hopefully they don't choose none of these cards. And also, we didn't look at the collection rewards for this. Oh, let's just stick it. So here we get six tokens, twenty five hundred sapphire, nothing, nothing. Just, just my faction points and tokens. We get a cosmetics pack, superstars cosmetic pack. Okay, so here, okay, so here you get a amethyst Bianca Belair, and we need seven. Look at that, we seven cards missing, and then seven cards for this amethyst woman. Now let's take a look at those cards real quick. This Bianca Belair, right? Boom, look at that. Stain like a bee on tier four. This card right here is gonna be better than her pink diamond. I'm telling you right now, I already know. Because I know what her pink diamond got. So don't it don't have stain like a bee. And she has stain like a bee in the highest tier. So this is the this is the Bianca Belair card you want in your collection that you're gonna actually play with. The pink diamond, it'll be decoration. It looks nice, it's beautiful, it's pretty, it's a pink diamond. But when you actually play with the card, and then you have this card, you're going to always play with this card because this card is going to help you win the matches faster and easier. Especially if you're going to the Proving Rounds and My Faction, stuff like that. Weekly Towers, you could take any card into. But if you're doing My Faction, or you especially Proving Rounds, where you really being, the card is really being tested to the maximum degree, you're going to want the card with the best badges. So this Bianca Belair card is the best Bianca Belair card in the game, hands down. I could already see that. Now the problem is I'm gonna to want to go for her because this card has 130. This promo has 130 cards, and my dumb ass is gonna go for it. You understand what I'm saying? Because I want this card. Now this Roman Reigns, stand like a B, tier four, going to hell, tier four, paint train. He doesn't have like heavy hand to go with it, but this is gonna be a great Roman Reigns card as well. So. 
this is going to be a great because he has to like a B on the highest tier, tier four. You know, he does have a Ruby. I believe his Ruby has great badges too. So, you know, if you just want Roman Reigns, it don't really matter what card you use. Get the one you could get and use the one with the best badges that you got. Because there's like 10 different Roman Reigns cards in this game right now. We just got one from the locker group. You know, you understand what I'm saying? So, and I'm, I just got the diamond. You understand? So, see, we go here and check out his diamond card. Like he's messing that stand like a bit. I'm gonna do a gameplay review. I'll be the first to do it. I'll bring it to you guys and I always show you. You see this card? I will show you. And we'll compare him, right? We'll compare him to what? There's, there's another Roman Reigns. I think it's a Ruby, right? So we go to WrestleMania, I believe. There he is. Now look at the badges this one has. Stand like a bee going to have Race Space Invader all on tier three. So is this card better than his diamond? Do you have to open all these packs to get the diamond card? Meanwhile, all the time, this card is going to be better. This is why you watch this channel. Because you want to know what the pack odds look like when you open the packs. And you want to know if these cards, these high tier diamond cards, pink diamond cards are worth going for. These Amethyst cards. I brought you gameplay of Amethyst, Cody Rose, Lita, Diamond Rare Ripley. Now I'm going to bring you Diamond, Roman Reigns, and soon we're on the road to Pink Diamond, Bianca Belair. But I can tell you it's going to be a close competition. It's going to be, I, I, I'm not even going to say it's a competition. I already know what it is, but I'm going to show you what it is. I'm not just going to tell you what it is. I'm going to show you. I'm going to compare and prove and play with both cards right before your eyes so you can see, is that Diamond, Roman Reigns worth going for? Should you open all these packs and collect, or what is it? Like 780 cards to get this Roman Reigns. I mean, look at your collection right now. How many cards do you really have, right? I'm a content creator, so I open packs. So naturally, I'm going to have a lot of cards. Plus, I grinded the crap out of this game. Do you have to go and open all these packs to get this card? Is it even worth it? I'm doing the work for you. You're going to learn. And if I show you it's worth it, you go for it. If I tell you it's not worth it, you don't go for it. But it's not what I tell you. When I show you, when I show you, you can make your own decision. I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to recommend what I learned from showing you, and then you can take it with what you saw with your own eyes. This is why you tune into the channel, because I tell you all the time. I give you the most exclusive WWE 2K23 My Faction content right here in your face. You understand? In your face. I bring it to you. I don't, I, I, you know, everybody's ranting, bringing news. I get it. We need it. I'm not mad at it. But I'm bringing you things on a different level right here. It's my commitment to this channel. It's my commitment to you, the viewer. You understand? Sometimes we get serious. Sometimes we're going to have fun. Sometimes we're going to joke around. It's many sides. I, I'm like an onion. There's many layers to me. I'm an artist. You know, there's it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. And I want to bring you into my life. And I want to share it with you. I want you to have a good time with me. When I say buckle up, you're not riding with 2K Punk, buckle up. Because you ain't going to be bored. No matter what, you're not going to be bored. You're going to learn something. You're going to laugh. You're going to say, wow. Like, I got a video. I got deep. Like, I'm going to, like, one of my videos coming up is, is an exclusive wrestler that nobody has. Right? And when I make that video, it's going to wow everybody. Because nobody got this wrestler. Like, nobody got this card. Nobody, no, 2K don't even know it exists. That's how rare it is. And I have it. So when I tell you that I'm bringing you the most exclusive, if I don't prove it in that video, I don't know if I'm going to do the Diamond Roman Reigns for you guys next, or I'm going to give you that most exclusive card that nobody got. And you know what? Nobody's going to get them. And if somebody got them, they stole them from me because there's no way they could get them. Because I didn't create it. I was given it by mistake, but I have it now. And I use it now, and it works. So I'm going to show you that wrestler that nobody has, that card that nobody has. And I don't even know, like, like it's like, it's beyond, it's like a dark matter. That's all I'm going to say. It's a dark matter wrestler. <laughs> dark matter, yes, I know dark matter's coming in because 2K24, we're going to get Galaxy Open, right? Because this year we got Pink Diamond. Next year we're going to get Galaxy Open. So 2K25, we're going to get dark matter wrestlers. <clears throat> 26, we'll get Invincible, and 27, we'll probably get Envy. Listen, I already got a dark matter. 
I'm telling you right now, I'm going to bring you that video, that gameplay. You got to, bro, subscribe to the channel. Just look for the strength for that. Subscribe, hit that bell for the notifications so you can know. And, and on top of that, like, join my 400K VC giveaway. I'll leave in the description. I'll leave a link down below. Click on that video. It'll show you how to enter. It's absolutely free. It costs you nothing. It costs you nothing. So you, yeah, you're gonna wanna be subscribed to this channel. You're gonna see some stuff here you ain't seen on no other channels. I'm telling you right now, I brought you the most exclusive content. Day in and day out, I proved it. I'm on top of the game. I'm ahead of everybody. It is what it is, because I made a commitment. I made a commitment. I made a commitment with my money. I made a commitment with my time to bring you the true evaluation of this game and are things worth for you going for. You don't, you don't need to have everything. It's not worth going for everything. I'm gonna let you know what it's worth going for and what is not worth going for. So you don't waste your time, A, and B, so you can go and whatever it is worth going for, you could go and you can maximize the enjoyment of playing this game. Cause you wanna enjoy this game on a maximum level. So why are you gonna waste your time doing things that's just gonna disappoint you? See what I do and then do what I do or don't do what I do, it's up to you, but you can make a choice. <clears throat> you have an understanding. Everybody's gonna tell you, oh, don't open packs, why? Why don't open packs? Why? Show me, show me why. Open packs and show me is not worth opening packs. Oh, because pink diamonds and 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 and, and diamonds are coming out, and I'm gonna save my my faction points and and all this for those cards. Okay, let me explain something to you. Uh, listen, you gotta listen. And I learned this from last year. And if you ever played NBA 2K, you know. By the time those diamonds and pink diamonds cards come out, there's gonna be no use for them. There's gonna be no content for them because they're already gonna be focusing on 2K24. They're hardly gonna be getting with us content. Right now, you want these rubies, you want these amethysts, you want these low, you know, these these sapphires with these great badges because you wanna be able to do, you wanna be able to go into proving rounds, right? You think I'm gonna wait for a diamond card to come out in packs for me to start doing these proving rounds? I'm done with them. You understand what I'm saying? You're gonna wait till the diamond or pink diamond card comes out that is gonna be worth, because online is not even worth playing with it. No no card is worth getting, because online is just nothing right now. You don't get no rewards, you're nothing. It's, it's just like you're going there for fun, because you're not gonna have nothing else. I have fun playing the matches online, but you're not winning that now. So I'm gonna wait for diamond and pink diamond cards to come out. And these packs will be probably dumb expensive and ultra rare to pull these cards. And then if I do get one of those cards, I'm gonna start grinding Proving Grounds to go get Sapphires, Rubies, and Amethyst, right? With a pink diamond card or a diamond card, right? That's what I'm gonna do in my life. Think about what I just said. You're gonna wait for a pink diamond card to come out or a diamond card to come out for you to open a pack so you can get that card. And then you're gonna grind Proving Grounds to get Rubies, cards that are lower tiers than the card you just got. No, you want the cards now. You need these. That's why when you go to the Ruby Token token market, everybody wants this is dying for this to open the, the Amethyst token market because when you go into the Ruby token market, right, you have cards like this with great badges. So we use these cards for what? To go into proving grounds, to go into weekly towers, to go into faction wars. You understand? By the time, by the time diamonds and pink diamonds come out in packs, like I don't even know if they're ever going to update this. You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, because they feel like they lost so much. It, it's a whole... I'm not even going to get into that. But if you know, you know. Like, you want the best cards available right now so you can complete these tiers so you could get my faction points so you could open those packs. Do you have to open packs to, to, to get, like, a good card? No, you're going to you're going to the Ruby token market and I could do... Proving rounds or any of the any of these, you know, you're, like, uh, forget it. You you already know. Like I'm not gonna go. If you know, you know. You're like if you're watching this video, you know. If you don't know, then go back and look at older videos of me and other content creators explaining Ruby token market cards. So, what are we saving money for? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I want cards now that I could use now. By the time those pink diamonds and diamonds come out, those are gonna be all decorations, all decorations. And the way things are going, that they're not even giving these diamonds and pink diamonds. I'll show you. They're not even giving them. They're not even giving them the top tier badges. He don't have Sting Like a Bee. Pink Diamond Bianca Belair. She doesn't have Sting Like a Bee. You understand what I'm saying? This is going to be a problem. These cards have, yeah, they have tier four badges, 
but not the important ones that you need. A tier three, still like a B on this card, would have made this card OP. Don't have it. Even you don't have to give us tier tier four. You could have gave it tier three. Even tier two, at least you just don't have it. You know what? You can't even activate it. And if you can't activate stand like a B, why are you wasting your time playing the match? Every card should have stand like a B that's a diamond or buff. Point blank period. Then you want to add heavy handed to it and all that, that's all great. But you understand, look at these cards. Take a look. Is anybody blind and dumb or is it just me? I'm not talking about you, the game. I'm talking about the content creators. Because everybody's like, whoa, I'm going to shave my money. What do you think? Now, now the live token thing, now 2K screwed you. Because now you can't save your money. Because if you don't, if you don't go out and get these cards, you don't go out and get these cards that you need, you don't qualify to do the challenge, and you can't go for these, these cards. Now you're spending money because now you got amethyst, right? You got great amethyst cards with great badges. And soon these cards are going to be diamond rewards. And they're going to be pink diamond rewards. And if you don't have these amethysts or these rubies because you weren't opening packs, now you got to go crazy spending like five, six hundred dollars to catch up when you could have spend, been spending 20 bucks a week. You know, there's no excuse you're a content creator and you can't drop $20 a week to show us a pack opening. So we can show the game as the odds. Because this is what game, this is what people tune into this to these channels for to see pack openings. Does anybody watch Troy Dan or Call of Story or Decentric if they're not opening packs? Would anybody even know who they are? No, because they open packs. That's what we want to see. We want to see if the pack odds are. Is it worth for me to go open a pack? If I see him pull the car, I say, okay, I could go pull the car. If I don't see him pull the car, like they just released the Hero Invincible packs, I was watching everybody's pack opening. Only one person pulled Yao Ming and one person pulled Bobo. Everybody else got a bunch of Rust Dark Matters. If you know 2K, then you know. I'm like, so why would I go spend $100 to pull what, what they're pulling? They're not pulling nothing. I wouldn't be happy if I get what they get. So I saved my money. Now I have money to open these packs. Because if I wouldn't want to spend my money on those packs, so the odds, they suck, and I would have got what they got, I wouldn't have learned my lesson, and I would have not had no money to open packs today. Because I would have wasted, I'm not going to I'm not gonna spend three, $400 a, a week on packs. I'm doing two games. I'm doing NBA 2K and WWE 2K. That's why I'm 2K Pun. 2K Punisher. That's what 2K Pun is short for 2K Punisher. Okay? So at the end of the day, you want to see people, you want to see content creators open packs so that we could get a feel for what I just gave you a feel for odds, right? I just opened a 20 box. I just opened a 20 box and I went here, I spent money. I opened the 20 box and what did I get? What what did 2K Pun get from his 20 box? He got a diamond manager that he's not gonna use. He got 23 cards out of 130. But he did get three amethysts. You understand? So you could say, okay, well, he got three amethysts from a 20 box, a couple of rubies, a couple of sapphires, a whole bunch of sapphires. Didn't get hardly any emeralds. Couple of now you could see what my odds were, right? I got a diamond manager. Was that diamond manager even worth it? No, not for me. You might want him, but I don't want him. I got a manager that gives me technical submission offense that increases that by eight. Make Brody. I need that. You understand? So. That's what this, these channels are supposed to be, pack openings. Everybody say, well, I don't have to open packs. And da, 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 da. You're right. You're absolutely right. But if nobody's opening packs, we have a problem. Because you're killing the content of what people are tuning in for. People want to see pack openings. People watch my, pack, my, my channel to see pack openings. They don't, see, they don't watch my channel to hear me talk shit. <laughs> Real talk. They watch me to spend money, and they're going to laugh at me if I don't pull it, and they're going to they gonna hate on me or praise me if I pull it. But at the end of the day, like, let's be real. Like, would anybody watch any of those NBA 2K content creators if they was not opening packs? It's the same blueprint, the same ideology, right? My faction, my team. Packs, packs. Listen, if you don't want to open packs, fine. Don't badmouth people that do because we're saving the content. Because you know what? People are going to, I don't need to tune in the hidden news. I could just go through the menu myself. I'm not an idiot. I could go through the menu myself. I could go, oh, let's see what's new in live events. Go on live events, right? And as long as I could see and I have vision, I could see what the live events is. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So nobody's bringing nothing new to the table. Like some of you guys got to stop and start opening some packs. And the only good thing about live events, forcing people to open packs, now people forced to open packs. Yeah, you're forced to open packs now. Now for the gamer, I feel bad for. But for the content creator, I feel I don't feel bad for. How you monetize it? You don't even spend twenty dollars a week to show us what the pack odds are. I would love to know what the pack odds are before I open packs. 
there's probably two or three content creators that actually spend some money to open packs and praise to them. Praise to them. You understand? But nobody spends more than I do. I don't. I don't care what nobody. Go ahead, find them, find them, find them, bring them to me. Let me let me know in my comments who opens more than I do. And I'm not saying that to brag. And I'm not saying that because I'm rich, because I'm not. I literally got a whole second job to open these packs for you guys. That's my level of commitment. So that being said, this is what it's about. So now we have a problem because I'm over here and I didn't finish on one of my missions. And that was to get a card I really, really want. That's this Goldberg. Now I got some bread left. I got some VC left. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I could sit here and open Superstar Series two packs all day. Yes, I would do a 2.0 pack opening, three point, probably a 4.0 pack on it because there's so many cards in that promo. Like for me to get the Amethyst, Bianca Belair, or Roman Reigns, I'm gonna have to open a lot of packs. I already know. I'm still been missing from each one at a time, but I'm only missing two from this Amethyst um, Goldberg, and there's only 39 cards in this promo. And the two cards I'm missing is this Ruby Sheamus, which is just, we just got another Ruby Sheamus in the new promo, which I don't understand why, but I do, because they copy and paste them. And this Sapphire Zyli. So, like, do I even have that indie hardware I'm gonna need for that? Oh yeah, I do, I do have that we're gonna need for the Mia Yim. So we do have her, I just checked that. But yeah, this card right here, man, when I fought the CPU, this card is lit. Like, I love the animation. The card literally whooped, whooped me left and right. Improving grounds. Like, this card right here, I want on my squad. And his badges are like, bar, like, overpowered. Yeah, stay like a B on tier four. That's all I gotta see. Say so yeah, Space Invader on tier one, but yes, he has going there on tier two. And he has Pain Train on tier 4 too. And Rabble Robs, right? So, yeah, we want this Goldberg right here. I'm not too concerned for Dolph Ziggler, but if we get him, we'll do gameplay review. But this card right here, and, and listen, people, stop capping. Because I know y'all capping that you got him. You don't got him. He's not in your collection. You're showing little videos of, of people playing you online with the card. Or you playing the card on, on, on like proving grounds and stuff. Like, let's stop. You don't have the card, okay? I don't like when people do that. Like, that's not cap. That's another thing. Now, you got a lot of people faking it. Like, I can't wait till I bring you that Dark Matter card I got. Like, <laughs> you're gonna be... <laughs> yeah. 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 It's gonna be... I'm, I'm, I, I might bring you that video now. I might skip the Roman Reigns Diamond gameplay and just bring you that, that Dark Matter. Because I think that's more important. But yeah, like I said, we had a problem. So we gotta go to the bodega. We gotta buckle up again because now we gotta take another ride. We're gonna have to try to get this Goldberg. So we need a Ruby Sheamus and we need a Ruby and we need a Sapphire Zyli. Now, I did a 20 box. That was my two, one point, that was my first pack opening. And my 2.0 pack opening, I opened a bunch of uh, singles because i wanted andre the giant and because i see content creators that actually do open packs i seen that they open they got andre the giant through singles right i seen nobody pull him through a box but i seen him pull through singles two content creators pulled this andre the giant through a singles pack deluxe so i committed a whole pack opening just to open the deluxe singles and guess what pulled andre the giant because i saw that other people were pulling him that way now, I don't know how people get into Goldberg, but I know they cap him. That's all I got to say. I'm not stupid. Like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna say no names, but let's let's go. So we here, right? So we trying, so uh, what's this, Deluxe? So 54%, whole 54%, we need one Ruby, right? So we got 175 KVC. I'm not even gonna do math right now. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm going for this Goldberg. I'm going all in. So whatever I gotta spend, I'll spend it all. If I don't get them, I don't get them. If I get them, I get them. I'm taking, nonetheless, I'm taking my shot. So buckle up. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on. So do the rubies glow on this? I think they do glow. Okay, we got JC Jane, which we didn't have. Okay. So at least we'll take a card we didn't have. Get 
Apple Amethyst Duplicate Cody Rhodes. Finally, let's go. Okay, one card, one card down. I love this card art. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is the card art, like this and that Charlotte Flair, like gorgeous. That Bianca Belair, Hammond is gorgeous. Even the Pink Diamond, gorgeous. Like, we want to see beautiful card art, you know what I'm saying? Especially of the beautiful wrestlers. Come on, we need Ruby Famous. That's it, that's all we need. Yeah, Ruby Eel Sky, we didn't have her. So we are getting cards that were missing from the set. So hopefully that's a good sign. The rubies do not glow. They do not flame up. It's the amethyst in this promo. So I just remember. So just because it doesn't flame up, doesn't mean we didn't get it. Come on. Need Ruby Shamus. That's all we missing. Done. Wow. Come on. I'm trying to get this gold bro. We get Ruby Beth Phoenix. And I guess it's 3,500 my faction points. So with that my faction points, let's go open up. Let's open up a pack with my faction points. Getting rubies, but we getting the wrong ones, man. Come on. Come on, I'll bring you the Goldberg official gameplay. Go through his stats, we'll play with him, we'll try him out. I just know that car's gonna be good. This car's gonna be great. Bam, another Ruby. We need a Ruby Sheamus. You're giving us the wrong rubies, 2K. Come on. it up. Can we clutch it up for Ruby Sheamus to get Goldberg? Come on. Man. This is why I hate when you have to pull just one card. Ruby, AJ Styles. Done. We, got no, we ain't got no BC. Can we even do a basic? Nope. Can't do nothing. So, yeah, we took our shot. Listen, we took our shot. We did get a little closer. So we're gonna check the Knight of Champions. So for Goldberg, we're just missing this Ruby Sheamus. We'll get them. We'll get them. We're gonna have to spend more VC and more my faction points, but we'll get them. We'll get them. That's gonna be my mission because I really, really want it. Any card in my in the collection I don't have is this one right here. We still got these to work for. That's gonna be a whole nother ball game. This Amethyst Bianca Belair and this Amethyst Roman Reigns. So, yep. Yeah. That's going to be a whole nother ball game. So, apologize for the long content. I hope you did learn something. Um, let me see where we're going. So, where do we stand right now? Where do we stand? So, we are 74 cards away. 74 cards away. From Pink Diamond, Bianca, Belair. So, yep. So we did it. This pack opening, we got enough collector level cards to get Diamond Roman Reigns. So hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you'll be notified. Also, don't forget to enter my 400k VC giveaway in the description. I'll leave a link down below. Click on that video. It'll show you exactly how to enter. It's absolutely free. So, yeah, that being said, remember, Jesus loves you. Thanks for riding with me. God bless.
2K pawn. I'm out.